Good morning and welcome to Vegas day five. I don't know, I'm really lost with all of our days, but it's our last morning in Vegas. We are just packing up the bags now. Daniel is tying the balloons to the cases, which I'm not too confident that they're gonna fit in the car, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, we are all done at Vegas now and we are going to California and we're gonna go to Disneyland. I'm literally so excited for that part of the trip. Obviously, gutted to say goodbye to Vegas, but to go to Disneyland, to go to the OG, we are, yeah, beyond excited. But we are sad to see, say goodbye to oh, this we bedroom. Very, very we sad. have loved our time at the Venetian and 1,000 million percent recommend it. But yeah, so now we're gonna get in the car and we're actually going to a few different places on the way mm -hmm. to um, LA. So we're gonna stop at Seven Magic Mountains, which is kind of like a, it's like man-made, it kind of merges the natural world with the crazy world of <laughs> Vegas. And then we're going on to Calico Ghost Town. Um, what, I'm looking forward to Yeah, it. I'm really looking forward I to this. I read up a few like just stuff on Google about it and it looks good. Yeah, I, I did go when I was younger, when we left, um, so when I did my Vegas trip with my family when I was younger and we then went on to like LA and everything, we did do Calico. But I was at that age where I was quite like, Pre-teen, and no, I get, yeah, I didn't really appreciate it, and I also don't really remember that much about it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going back there again, and then we're going to grab some breakfast at Peggy Sue's Diner, which mm -hmm. is one of the really old like trucking diners. So yeah, we've got a few cool things to do on the way, and we're going to take you along with us. So we will catch you in the car. Yeah, goodbye room. Oh, I've loved this bedroom. It's literally massive. I actually think this bloody whole room is bigger than our flat at home. It actually is, I think. This is probably like the, it's actually probably bigger than our flat. I don't know. Like that's probably like the kitchen and living room area. And then you've got the spare bedroom and our bedroom, which would probably be, if you take out the bar, I actually do think. Fair enough, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, goodbye room. So this is what we get for choosing a convertible car with the amount of luggage that we have. We're now struggling to get the cases in the car. It doesn't quite angle, to, they would fit in the boot, but the angle we have to get them in at, you can't get them in. So we're just putting the roof down to, to slide, to slide the them in the back. The, the, the window at the roof is like getting the word in the face. First one we've got in Will the roof do up with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it doesn't, just get jammed. Yeah, that should be fine. Cool. That seat didn't go back properly, did it? Oh, it did. Um, now you need to put the roof back up. Put the roof, uh, actually, no. Mine. You have to put the roof... Why don't you get the cases in there with you? No. No, no chance. This is what you get, choosing there. Well, this is what we get for having so many suitcases. A lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, We're in, just finally. about. Now yeah. we're gonna have our coffees and get on the road to the Seven Magic Mountains. Although we had to leave the balloons behind. Yeah, we had to leave the balloons over there. I didn't, we were gonna deflate them and put them in the bin, but I just thought, oh, if we leave them in the car park, you never know, someone might see them and they might want them, they might be having a birthday themselves. So yeah, on the road, and I think it's about 20 minutes away to the Seven Magic Mountains, so I'll put it in the sat nav now. And then we'll be on our way. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so the Seven Magic Mountains is literally a 30 minute drive outside of the Vegas city. just 
talking, we actually forgot to go and see the like Welcome to Las Vegas sign. But we have seen it together before and it's always just so busy when you're there. Like we drove past it the other day when we was in the Uber and there was already a huge queue. Um, so our plan always was originally that we were gonna go there the day we leave Vegas once we had the car because it's quite a far walk on the strip. Um, but yeah, we forgot. <laughs> but as we just said, we don't really mind. We have seen it before. Um, and we already have pictures there. It would have been nice to do a comparison picture, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is what it is. Um, and the only other thing we didn't do that we did want to do while we were here was the Omega Mart. Um, that's kind of like down like Fremont end, but we've just like had been doing so many other little bits that we didn't want to just trek off to do something just for the sake of it. So it would have been cool to do that. Um, but yeah, we didn't get around to it. So it just means we'll have to come back and do the things we didn't do on this trip. Nice. I said to Daniel in the pool yesterday, I was like, oh, we'll just have to come back for your 40th. And he's like, oh, don't say that. And I'm like, what? Like and he's like, he's like, 40? And I'm like, well, it's still like 10 years away. <laughs> yeah. Well, nine actually, but. Nine years, not thinking about that. I'm uh, <laughs> living in my 30s. Seven Magic Mountains and as I was saying back at the hotel basically this is kind of like a symbol it has like a symbolic meaning because it's like the midway between the artificial world and the natural world so the natural world obviously being like the mountains and the beautiful scenery and then the artificial world being like the highway between like Vegas and LA and obviously LA itself and um, Vegas itself being super duper artificial so it's, it's pretty cool um, I will turn around and show you. Someone's tried to make their own little mini version of the Seven Magic Mountains. Then he's adding to his. I've added my piece. <laughs> So here it is. So yeah, as you can see, like this is like the symbolic meaning because of where it is. This is obviously a man-made thing. And then you're oh, around. <laughs> and then this is obviously all the natural beauty. I'll tell you what, it is very nice it's to see nothing. Literally. Mountains and mother nature. And cacti. This is gonna this is going on first time. You reckon? Everyone's throwing their stones on. Yeah, people throw the stones up and try and try and land them on the top somewhere. Go on then. Are Shall you trying to get on that? Under? under, I think. Oh, it did hit it though. <laughs> we go on first time. Yeah, let's said. let's have a go. That was worse than mine. That's terrible. Next one. Yep. Yay. Mine went up. Don't know if you saw that. Yay. And yours. That was decent. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Seven Magic Mountains completed. It's so cool. It is cool to see things like this. So I do oh, think definitely. if you're doing the road trip, definitely make a little detour or yeah, stop here. Of course. It's also just got really, really busy as well because a coach has just turned up. And we came at like the perfect time. Yeah. But no, it's very good, very hot. Absolutely love it. I think it's definitely on another thing sort of ticked off the bucket list of things to do. But yeah, so we are now gonna head back into the car and we need gas. Yeah, we do. And then so, are we going to do Peggy Sue's first or Calico? Which one do you rather do uh, first? Peggy Sue's because we need breakfast. Cool, let's <laughs> go there.
so I am very impressed with the car. I think it's awesome. It's not quite full bar eagles though, because it's only a V6. She's uh, it's pretty cool, pretty fast. Not bad. As you love an American gas station, you all your all your dogs and your whatever they are. <laughs> all your drinks. Freestyle machines, coffee, all your snacks. Go for a go for a Miller Lite. Get Powerade. Get a couple of Powerades. They're good. Any uh, any cribbies? Ooh, I want some funyuns. Get some funyuns then, hon. I'm getting them. Do it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, and what? Couple of Powerades. Powerades or Gatorades? Powerades. Yeah. Actually, can I get Gatorade? Yeah. Can I Gatorade yet? So we're trying to work out if this over. Oh, I cannot see. If this over here is a theme park. I don't. I don't know. It, like if, I say it could be like a quarry, but it looks like a roller coaster. Do you not think? Ride. It looks like a ride. Don't know. I don't know how well you can see it on the vlog. Let me see. Does it have a sign? I think that's a ride. Yeah, I think you're right. That's a ride. What, what park uh, is it though? Buffalo. Buffalo. Does that say Buffalo Bills? Isn't that the name of like an American football team? I'm really sorry if that's wrong. <laughs> that's that's a ride. Oh, yeah, that's, that's that's like that's a, theme a theme park. park. Okay. I wonder cool. what theme park it is though. Yeah, go. You would have thought it would have been like signposted. Yeah, buff Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Buff Bills, I'm sure yeah. Buffalo Bills is the name of like an American football team or baseball team or something like that. Please, any Americans, I'm really sorry if I'm wrong, but I'm <laughs> pretty sure there is a. Yeah, that is called Buffalo Bills. It's and then a hotel what's over there? there? And they've got another casino over here. Whiskey Pete's. It's like a mini Vegas. <laughs> Prim Valley. Welcome to California. Nice. Wow, look at that, like the way the sun's beaming off of it. I don't know if you pick it up very well in the vlog, so it looks really cool. So we picked up these Funyuns. I always see people munching on Funyuns in vlogs and I've wanted to try them for ages and I want, we went for the spicy queso flavor. Yummy. Oh, smell them. Is it any good? Oh, there's the Welcome to California sign. Well, like so we were just pulled over to go for um, to go to the toilet quickly, break. and we keep seeing signs everywhere for this like place called. It says Alien Fresh Jerky, and it's like, and someone was saying it's like an alien store, um, and it's literally like two minutes down the road yeah, that way really so we're, we're gonna quickly yeah, head there and have a little look before we go on to Peggy Sue's yeah so this is where we pulled off literally just to go to this Chevron garage here which also has quite a few different like um, little places to grab food so if you're on your like journey and you wanted to get something to eat this is probably a good place to stop but yeah just down here like literally right over here is where this alien thing is um, and the whole whole road, all we keep seeing is like 20 miles ahead, alien fresh jerky. So we're just gonna check it out and see, what's... see what it's all about. Yeah. Because I fancy some alien jerky. What? You know, have, you ever, have you actually had jerky? I've had beef jerky, yeah. I don't think I've ever tried it. You can get, they, like, they sell them in like Sainsbury's, Tesco's, on the, on the, on the edges, didn't they? Yeah. But um, never an American 
jerky, that's for sure. But I think it could be this. What, that big tower? There? I'm not sure if you can really see thing. it. Let's see. There's like a tower thing here. And I'm pretty sure that's where it is. I just overheard these kids talking about it where we just were. And they're like, they're, there's like pictures of aliens. That's just the temperature. Oh, <laughs> that's, the, that's like a huge a thermometer. thermometer. Oh, there is something that says alien oh, here, though. Yeah, Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we we're supposed to go. Oh, no, here it is. Whoa, on the brakes. This is like a giant UFO. Look. <laughs> ha! That's awesome. There's an alien in a car there. I reckon. Pull over. Yeah, let's pull over. Let's go yeah. in and have a little look at the alien fresh jerky. Cool. First park. I think you put a dollar in and it does something. So this is the little store. Did you go in? So we found a couple of aliens in this space wagon. <laughs> Got a couple of flat tires though, or one flat tire. I'll tell you who would like this place. Crap. I'll tell you who would like this place. Claudia's, Claudia's Steve. Oh, yeah, you would. He's oh, alien yeah, mad. He loves like aliens and stuff, like conspiracy and he's all into conspiracy theories. So we're gonna uh, grab him a uh, magnet. I think we need to get one that says "Alien Fresh Jerky" on it. We're dragging this one. Yeah. There's some more the other side. Oh, they're like the same, I think. Oh, that one's quite cool. Oh, this one. The yeah. UFO one. Yeah. Yep. Probably pepper beef. Yeah. Yeah, do it. All they so it looks to me they are building a UFO shaped building. No idea what it's going to be, but pretty darn cool. And the thing that we thought was the alien thing is just some gigantic thermometer <laughs> and like a gift shop. Oh, it says it's the world's tallest thermometer. Oh, world's... Oh, okay. ah. Gotcha. World's tallest. It is pretty tall to me. It is. <laughs> I like this little, um, it's like a little, tiny little sort of country town. It's mm. cute. Cowboys. Oh, country store in wise. <laughs> And then it says we're going on the interstates of California. California. Barstow. Next up, Peggy Sue's. Let's just see anything else we uh, want to take stop at. Yeah. That was just quite a freak. Random little random stop. Thing. Yeah. So we'll pull off here to go for a, for a quick restroom. Break, and then we managed to come across that, which is pretty dumb. Peggy Sue, so we're officially about halfway or just over halfway yeah. to our journey to LA. So it's good to stretch your legs again. Yeah. 
does get tiring, especially when you're a giraffe stature like myself. Yeah, literally. So yeah, we are gonna go grab some lunch and then go on our way to Calico. favorite youtuber he has he has one of these swordfishes out what well, they got stitch yard sea was Did that you not hear me? no <laughs> Stressing about something, man. I don't know what. I can't sit still. Still. I can't. What is wrong? I don't know. It's like, um, Ants in your pants. Restless legs. So, yeah, we've got our little table now. It's like a proper funky original diner. It's the oldest diner on Route 15, is it? The yeah, Highway sure. 15. like your typical diner food. I think I'm gonna go for a tuna melt. They do like fried chicken, sandwiches. Tuna turner. Burgers. All the sandwiches sound quite nice to be honest. Triple decker. We have both speci specifically chosen a pib because of how much we were obsessed with it in Florida last year in the freestyle machines because they didn't have Dr. Pepper. So, and it's a plastic straw. Oh yes. We love the turtles, but we love the plastic straws. It's a grilled ham and Swiss cheese sandwich. Sorry, I don't know if I got that. What did you say? <laughs> I'm going for the Gary Cooper, which is a grilled ham and Swiss cheese sandwich. Nice. What about yourself? I'm going to go for the Charlie the Tuna Melt. Yeah, definitely. Nice, nice. And then two, so you get two sides of that. I kind of so want to go good. for the soup. Mm. Dip your bread in the soup. Get it then. I'm going to go for curly fries. And slaw. So they have a little nostalgic look back in time leaflet has news from back in the day. How much was a car back then? Is that, is that a car ad? $713. Wow. Is Cameras, $34.50 for a Kodak. Miss America. In 1934. Mm -hmm. And it was President Franklin Roosevelt. Oh, thank you very much. So that's your soup. Nice. And they crumble the crackers in it normally. Oh yeah. Is that is that a thing to do? Mr. Noisy over there. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. That's what I watched them do in the, in the which movies. Which is crumbled crackers in there. What is it, meatball? 
That's a spicy meatball. What you get out of my shirt? Oh my god, you actually will though, that's the thing. Good soup. It's good soup. <laughs> Oh, you let me try a bite. Of course. Can I try a bite of your meatball? Get a piece of my meatball. <laughs> Why have you got to say it like that? Well, you're the one that said it. That's good soup, eh? It is actually. My jaw clipped really bad then. I thought it was going to lock open. <laughs> So I've got the tuna melt with some curly fries and coleslaw and then Daniel went for ham and cheese. What are the curly fries like? Oh my god, it's stuck. It's <laughs> stuck. Mm. They give you so much more than what they would back at home. Mm -hmm. We're good? Nice sandwich? Oh yeah. Very good. So they've got all, so many tanks here. Like, I have no idea what this is, but there is tanks for days. And there's so much military equipment over that side as well. So just found out it is a military base. So that's why there's all the tanks and military equipment everywhere. Yeah, wow, there's a lot there. It's huge. Literally all these tanks are lining up to go on the train. We have had our food at Peggy Sue's. We paid with um, tip. It was like $42 in total for both of our sandwiches and some drinks. And now we are just driving to Calico, which is literally seven minutes away from Peggy Sue's. So they're quite good to like tie in together to do the both because they're literally next door to each other. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the vlog, but in the hills up there, it actually says Calico. Like, I'm not really sure. It's kind of like here. That's very zoomed in. <laughs> and as Daniel said a minute ago, he goes, I thought it's meant to cool down the closer you get to LA. Uh, obviously, I know we're still like two hours yeah, away, it but it is hot. Still very hot. But then again, we are out. In the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, uh, but it is sweltering. And Daniel just had to take all of the suitcases out of the car. I know, because you need the charger for your phone as we're using it for a sat nav. A silly me, he didn't think, oh, I'll put it in my rucksack. But no, they're in the cases. It's Not even the in the hand seat. luggage case. He put them in the big suitcase. So cases. I had to take the hand luggage cases out of the boot, put the roof down, lift, not the, it was the bottom case, bearing in mind, so I take both cases out. That's what happens when you let a man pack, or what happens when you decide to just pack all my stuff away for no. It's just it's what it is, it's one of those things. I thought, yeah, put all the charges and, and everything together in one case, but. Common sense would be to put a charger yeah, accessible. I didn't think that your phone would go flat. also debating we went to one of our first ever actually I think it was our first ever trip together was to San Diego when I was cabin crew and we went to I think it's La Jolla Beach there yeah. um, and we were contemplating driving there after Calico before going up, uh, to Anaheim but it's just a little it's like an hour and a half away from our hotel in Anaheim so it's just a bit too much driving in one day well, just over two hours from here and no, it's three hours from here to La Jolla. Oh, three hours from here. I'd and then another hour. Yeah, it's just too much, yeah, just too much driving in one day. Otherwise, we would have done it because it would have just been nice to go back there. But we have said one time we're definitely going to do like a proper big America road trip and do like San Francisco, San oh, Diego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do all of that then we'll, too. We'll go up the is it west, west coast, isn't it? You go up yeah. from like San Diego and go up San Fran. Do all 
that. Yeah, it'd be good. Maybe do a little cheeky flight over to Hawaii. <laughs> Should be able to see it now where it says Calico in the hills over there. and we've made it to calico so this is like an old mining town that was around in the 1800s yeah. and then when like the silver like mining industry died off so did the town and then some guy bought it in the 1900s yeah he bought and, like, it and restored then it he restored all the buildings but five so there's five original never been touched buildings i'd imagine we'll spot them <laughs> yeah that's the restaurant it's a proper little cowboy town literally an old fire station with a I call it a fire it's not a fire truck it's like a fire wagon unbelievable Got 1888 steam fire engine so nice to see all this stuff Pooey. Oh no, what's he spotted? Hell yeah, brother. Probably not getting one. Last night. <laughs> There was no entry fee when we come in. There is. When you're driving through, they say you have to stop here and pay the entry mm. fee. And it was about $8 per person. And when we stopped, the lady was like, no, just go through. So, so I have no I'm idea. I'm not sure why. I'm hoping there's like, uh, they got a little mine train here that, that, that will take you. I don't know where they'll take you. They'll take you somewhere. And I'm not sure it's operating. So maybe it's because they're not very busy. and I don't know. But... Folks, I'll keep today and my train. If you lose anything during my ride, folks, your hats, your glasses, or your own whiskey, give me a big old holler. I'm only going back for the whiskey stuff today, all right, y'all. Yes, we're real, folks. We all think she's seated, but we take a ride together from the backcountry of Old California. We go around this first curve, that was the Mother's Cabin. Built along the canyon walls. As crude as they appear, they were ideal for protecting us from the hot summers and cold winters here at Calico. And perfect for the independent types who like to fend for themselves. Of course, many miners stayed in boarding houses, even for modest conveniences, like home cooking. I got my nickname, The mining district goes to the population of nearly two. Thank you. 
of fire. We use them on all four corners of our planes to alert everyone that they may be trespassing and to remind plane jumpers to stay away. Remember how the first traces of silver were discovered right on the ground in the spring of 1881 and Calico Silver Rush was on. Miners came from all over. Then it was shipped to a processing plant on a narrow gauge train similar to the one you're riding on now. But that particular train was called the water load my whole gun on him. The jury did not find me guilty because I was just protecting my property. Well, Annie, glad no one was seriously hurt. Except maybe that Mr. Culver's brother. So in one of the one of the mines. Oh, cool. It is cool. Who knows? Come on, look. I need you land a ride up there. Oh yeah. Slip, bust up your lip. Big John. So we're back in the car now and boiling. literally we were both dying. So we did the, um, the, tr the the railway road and the mine tour and it cost about $20 in total. And then when we when you get out of the mine, you can like walk up to this lookout point. And I got up there and like, I think the heat, everything just hit me. I was like, Daniel, I'm, I, I was like, I'm, yeah. I'm out of here. So I just went down and I like got in the aircon for a minute. 
but that is such a cool little experience oh, it's like awesome. the, the, it's just mental to think how back in the day that was like a booming thriving little yeah. town literally all the wives were in the town with the kids they would go yeah to schools here it's all the men were in in the down deep in the mines like so it honestly it's such a cool experience i have no idea why they didn't have charge an entry fee today yeah but they're not charging anyone today not sure why i know um, we said it, i said at the beginning that the, we didn't think the train was running because of it was just not on at that particular yeah, moment yeah, and it was everything was open as usual just we didn't have to pay for entry they've got one for restaurant here as well and then like some little shops and stuff that you can look around but honestly yeah this is so cool but now we are going to be on our way to la that's it now well, no more stops yeah unless we need a bathroom break, bathroom break. which is probably going to be likely with us yeah. so it's two hours 14 minutes from calico to anaheim we are staying at a, a double tree what's it? it's called double tree like buena park or something like that we'll show you when we get there yeah. we just chose something like cheap and cheerful and close by to disney so mm -hmm. yeah and uh yeah two hours and 14 minutes we should get there about half four so not too bad nice like, get on the road and get that aircon whacked up oh yes <laughs> changed going from desert to now we're getting closer to the coast they're greener and the temperatures already dropped by like eight or nine degrees it was yeah. 41 degrees literally like 40 30 40 minutes ago and now it's uh 32 degrees it's actually mad it's so cool to see it like oh yeah, yeah in that changed, in that right time that. America does have some beautiful landscapes. Oh yeah, and also I've, I've found me, I've seen my first tree surgeon as well, because like in the desert, you don't get many, <laughs> many trees. And I see the guy, I was like, yeah, yeah, like go on, go on boys. Still, still too up to be doing bloody tree surgery. <laughs> So Daniel still hasn't noticed that for the last like half an hour I've been playing Typhoon Lagoon soundtrack. Oh yeah, I've noticed. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. <laughs> you haven't. Oh, I definitely have. <laughs> you did. Oh yes. <laughs> then why are you moaning about it? Well, I moan. Well, I just said it was a bit loud because there must have been an advert or something called and I was in the corner. Oh man. Oh. You're an old man moaning about the sound. Yeah, it was a bit loud. My ears keep popping. <laughs> it's just cracking me up. These suitcases. <laughs> What are you seeing out the back of my eyes? I've got like that much gap <laughs> to see out the back window. It's windy here. Yeah, it's a wee bit. You don't want to go that way, do you? Riverside, sand. Just checking. So, I'm not sure if we've ever discussed this before in vlogs, but why is it that as soon as you see a yellow car, you just dump the person who was next to me and Daniel first got together, we were so bad for it. Oh, yeah, we don't terrible. play it as much anymore. Daniel always gets moody because I, I get always moody. win. No, I get moody because I can't <laughs> punch Kimberly if she's owned the make or the model of a car. Oh, yeah. So she's owned Volkswagen, Mini, Ford, Ford um, Audi. <laughs> literally no and then sometimes like we'll see a yellow car that like say for instance my mum or dad has driven or owned that brand of car like you can't hit me for that one my mum and dad had that car so it's pretty much every car <laughs> so but also you are a lot slower than me as soon as i see him like it's because you're not bothered it's a fun game it's fun for you because i to win it's fine <laughs> I didn't even hurt. It's like one hair. See? One. I told you to ripple your hair down. Did you just fall? Yeah. It's very smoky everywhere. <laughs> And we've made it to 
the hotel. We are staying at the Double Tree by Hilton at Buena Park. It's literally just off Highway 91, which L we was just on. Like literally, the highway is there, and we've just come off and we're straight here. Which is good. Oh, I, I'm like now we're at the hotel. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> we're going to Disneyland tomorrow. It ain't no Venetian, but hey. Wait, I literally couldn't care less. Is that parking? Yeah. And here is our room number two for the um, rest of the trip. It's actually a pretty decent room, to be it fair. Is, it's pretty yeah. big, pretty big bed. And then we've got a view of the highway. Not quite as good as our view at the Venetian. <laughs> and I think you see our car. Uh, no, you can't. You probably could. Uh, if you open the window. Maybe. Yeah, if you open the window, you probably could. Yeah, and it's a nice room. another thing I forgot that the double trees do, they give you a cookie, a cookie. on check-in. Last time we stayed in the double tree, they didn't have any cookies on our arrival, so we had to... They look like good cookies too. Mmm. Good cookie. That's a good cookie. We were both just saying as well, we saw a lady, she was carrying a Disney oh. Parks bag in the lobby and we were both like, oh my God, we're actually going to Disney. And we've both just got really, really excited. Uh, but for the rest of the day, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop to a Target. We need to grab a couple of bits for at home and stuff. Then um, we're probably gonna go to Downtown Disney. Oh, Blaze Pizza. I don't, Blaze Pizza isn't actually at Downtown Disney. God damn. But we are, we, we're going to go to Blaze for dinner because it's our first night of Disney tradition to get a Blaze. Mm -hmm. So we are doing that, but we are going to go to downtown Disney to get our little bit of a Disney fix today ahead of the parks tomorrow. And this is the bathroom of the hotel. So obviously it's actually a pretty decent size. So enough space for like both of all of your toiletries, huge mirror, and then a nice big shower. So this room is literally perfect, um, pretty good size, good and nice and clean, cannot complain. And one thing we have to do, we've got to unpack. Yeah, we are very much, we don't like living out of a suitcase, so no matter, even though we're only here for four nights, I, we, what we've done at the other hotel is put all of our dirty in one case, so we don't need to unpack that case. And then we're just going to unpack this one and then we're good to go. So we're going to do that and then we're going to head on out because I don't want to spend much time in the hotel. And I get to wear my Disney ears. Oh, I actually go to this dress. <laughs> Does anyone else find that when they check into a hotel, they always get the room furthest? Oh, well, oh, right at the end. Literally the last room down the corridor. It happens to us nearly every single time. Like our Venetian one, we were pretty far down. Uh -huh. And um, when we were in... Portofino Bay with George and Zoe oh, last year. Right at the very <laughs> Literally. End as well. And it was like the last room in the entire <laughs> hotel block. Oh dear. But yes, we are unpacked. Unpacked, bit freshened up. Yeah. Now we are gonna go find a target. Target or possibly a wall. No, I want a target. Yeah? You said you want the pants. Oh yeah. Daniel bought some pants there when we went to Target a couple of years ago. And literally to this day, he still says they're like his favorite pants ever. Yeah. So he just wants to buy some more. I've had to throw a few away now because they're getting holes in them. So I'm now <laughs> down to like three out of the seven that I bought, I think. <laughs> I don't know if that worked. I pressed it twice. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Nice. So, advance number one. The Target is literally a three minute drive from the hotel. We probably could walk it, but because we're gonna do a th few things after, we're just gonna take the car. Yeah. And we've got the roof down. It's actually bearable now to actually have <laughs> the roof down. There she is. It was literally like, we could have so easily <laughs> walked it. We could have done, but we are going out. We're after. going straight out, yeah, so. Oh, I'm excited. We made a rookie error and we didn't pick up a bag a basket. or a basket, so I meant sorry. Yeah. And now we're just down my favourite aisle with the seasonings. She loves the seasonings. We're not going to do a full shot. Oh, and this is another thing I'm bringing home this time. Some light carb wraps and things like that. Typical Brit fashion. We're not just going to go to Target. We've got to come to a Walmart. But there is actually reason for this. One, we couldn't get everything we wanted in Target. Um, and my ne my niece's boyfriend is obsessed with Tootsie Roll Pops. I've never heard of them. I've Googled them and apparently Walmart sell them and I promised I'd bring him some home. So we're going to Walmart to find them. 
We are. And we'll try and do a little bit of a vlog in there because we were really bad in the other shop and we didn't take a basket or trolley, so, so we our couldn't. hands completely <laughs> full. So we are on the lookout for Tootsie Roll Pops. Also, I got some of them boxes. He found his boxes. Like, but I was going to get a medium because they were 32 inch to 34 inch waist. I'm a 34 inch waist. Like, so no, he says. You need a large 36 or 38. I'm not 36 inch waist. No way. Found them. Are they definitely, yeah, they are filled with the chewy tootsie rolls. Yeah. These, huh? No, that's popcorn and. If you want Pringles, what flavour though? Everything bagel and Pringles. No, that won't be very nice. No, Ranch. Those ones? These ones? Yeah. Slap your mom occasion. Oh, I'm getting this. Patisserie chicken. I can't find the Southwest seasoning. Good. Yeah, just get, get, get two, get my mum one. And then, do we want any Chick fil A sauce? The best sauce ever. And you obviously picked up the large one. Class of this month. I did not know, and it actually smells like it. Sniff it. We could get this just before we go. And have some at home. Give yeah. my mom and that some. Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh, we've got a million ones there. Yum. Yeah, we'll get some of that before we go. A million percent. Oh. We've just driven past Disneyland. Look, there's Tower of Terror. Well, no, it's not. It's Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. And then over there, I think I can see Galaxy's Edge. I don't know if that is Galaxy's Edge actually. I just saw like some floating mountain type looking thing. Oh my and god. And here's Blaze Pizza. Where? Over there. Oh yeah, I can see it. This is so cool. I don't know where we're going to park though. We'll find somewhere. I don't know, we've come here, actually it might say on the ticket. It is called Garden, Garden Walk. Walk. Yeah, you yeah. are right. Yeah, so we've come to Garden Walk and we've parked there. And they, this is like a little shopping area. They've got loads of shops and yeah, restaurants. But we've just parked here and then we're gonna go walk down to Blaze. It's literally across the road and then there's Blaze. So yeah, that's our plan. But there's loads here. They have a cheesecake factory here, um, PF Chang's. Mm. There's a few different bits, and then we're gonna. And stuff. And then we're gonna drive to the downtown Disney district because I want to go in World of Disney and yeah, just get our little Disney. Can't believe, as we were driving here, we were, uh, Kimberly's note pointed out, oh, it looks like a monorail there. I said, what about the Disney? I said, no, 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 it's not that. And then literally, we started driving past Disneyland sign. I was like, oh my yeah. god, actually. <laughs> little winter park area where we are is right over the road from the Disneyland car park but that is the Disneyland park over there and one thing like Daniel was just saying is how do you get from there to the theme park and I think they have like a tram or a bus I did see a bus pull in there just a minute ago it's so where it's that I mean you could walk it don't get me wrong you could but yeah no, we'll, we'll find out tomorrow yeah <laughs> And this is where we're going. <laughs> it's an auto retract auto rotation. The icon will not be the play when you What do we go for? One of the spicy pepperoni. And the barbecue. Yeah. 
Are you happy? That oh, yeah. lemonade's really, really nice. And we also grabbed a Caesar. That is one happy man. <laughs> nice. Which one do you prefer? Oh, yeah. yeah. You need to have some of that, it's good. So, how was your blaze? Oh, I absolutely loved it. I don't know what if it you is. you know us already, <laughs> you know we love a blaze. And it's literally just become our first night tradition. Every night before we go to a Disney park, or usually like on day one of Florida, we always go to Blaze. But, so, we had to stick with that theme. I don't know what it is though, it, they are so simple. It's literally just pizza, but it's just so good. Like, it's a nice thing, crispy base, it's not too expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just good. Although I will admit that a pepperoni one was spicy. Of course, I might not get that again. I think I got that last time when I moaned about it. It was yeah. spicy. It's nice though. So now we're gonna go back to the car and then we're gonna drive. We could walk here, but just it's because I've, when we leave, we don't want to walk all the way back to the no, car. No, no. So yeah, we're well, going to... get free parking. It's, well, it's not free parking, but... Oh, we better cross. You get free parking if you um, pay $20 in uh, downtown Disney. So we're going to do that anyway. Yeah. I got off a bit short there because we were just crossing the road and I didn't want to beat so, that person. <laughs> it's so different, obviously. We, we're so used to crossing just two lanes at home. <laughs> Then like here, here you're, you're crossing basically four a motorway. On this side, <laughs> four on the other side. And we were both just saying how nice it is in the evenings here. We obviously absolutely loved Vegas, but we were like avoiding going outside of the hotels at night because we just physically couldn't breathe. And we like the heat. Yeah. Like we're not. We do like heat. But when it's Especially it was like during the during the day we were actually fine with it. It was yeah, just at night we just couldn't that. breathe. If anyone could explain why it was hotter or we felt hotter at night. It was Vegas. just like genuinely like trying to breathe when an oven door is open in your face. Yeah, it was hard work. <laughs> anybody else's? I don't know if that just cut off them, but I was about to say, does anybody else's husband not know who anybody is? We literally just walked past this super famous person, Brittany Snow. She was in like prom night, she was in Pitch Perfect. Exactly. She was in um, Don Chuck and Must Die. I was obsessed with her when I was a teenager and we literally just walked past her and I was like, Daniel was just out there waffling away and I'm like trying to get his attention like, oh my God, did you just see who that was? <laughs> I'm there like, no. <laughs> uh, that's two famous people we've seen. We have no evidence of it, either of them. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, to be fair though, like they're just living their lives. I don't want to just go up no, to them no, and like, interrupt not. them. I think so, this is where we go. It is indeed downstairs. How do we pay? Uh, not a pay machine yet. So over there in the distance is California Adventure. We can see like a credit coaster. It's literally, my bad, it went up. I'm literally itching to get inside there now. And now we are just making our way through the car park. Very different vibes to Disney World. But we are in Simba 5F. And now we're just walking over to Disneyland. Well, not Disneyland, downtown Disney. But it's so strange, I think, being here. Like, we are in on Disney property, but it's not Florida. So we're... <laughs> Why is it so zoomed? I have no idea. Why is that so zoomed? Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. See my yeah, ugly so face like that We're long. on Disney property. You're not in Florida. It's just such a whole different experience. It's... And we're so new to it. So we're like... We park think, up and think, well, where do we go? It's like, so if this weird. Is Florida, we'll be. Yep, we let's go. we just know Florida like the line, back of our line hands. garage, down the escalators. Literally. Polite pig on your right. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited to just be here and be in the Disney bubble. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I feel like we're different people when we're near Disney. <laughs> I know, literally, we just get like, instantly happier. <laughs> Even my dad was saying this. I was speaking to him the other day. And like because we're talking about our Florida trip that's coming up, my dad was like, "It's just amazing being there because 
everyone's just got like a kid in them again. He was like, it, you, he doesn't understand people that don't get it just because he's like, it just. Yeah, there's, oh, there's cars there, let's go. Um, yeah, and he just absolutely loves it, and yeah. Yes, I really we just love it. It's just one of those things. If you know, you know. I'm saying that Daniel should have booked one of the Disney hotels for me for my birthday. You've been in Vegas for your 30th <laughs> You could have had I'm, one or the other. We could I'm have been here. I'm joking, I'm joking. It's Woody on a rocket. It's uh, Kimberly and myself. Beauty and the Beast. Which one are you calling me and which one are you calling you? Uh, it's obvious, isn't it? Come on. Calling yourself the beauty, I know oh. what you're like. <laughs> You and these water bottles. I love a water bottle, you know I do. Well, we need to spend $20 to get our, our parking for oh, cheaper. Oh, look at these ones, huh? They're not really. I oh, know, but they're like a little clippy thing. So we got some magic bands. Kimberly went for the Beige, beige one and I went for the grey. There is obviously so many to choose from, like colourful ones and but this this is good. I'm happy with that. What have you got there? Blanky. Blanky for me. Who? Who? Oh, oh Who I was gonna say. That? It's a bit expensive for, for Pooey. It's nice, even the cushion's nice. Seventy freaking dollars. <laughs> Oh, look at that, hang your, like that. Hang your coats on, I that like is this. cool. That's good. Oh, I really like this. Yeah, that's a bit of you all over. Oh, I think I'll be having to take home. Oh, I like these. Oh, I like it all. Oh, she... <laughs> Everything she's looking at, she's like, oh, oh, I like that. Babe. Look at that. Babe. Look. Oh wow, they look exactly like they our glasses have at these home. Exact same ones. But oh my god, it's only fourteen dollars. Oh my god. She is literally in heaven. Think of my food cooking videos with these plates. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's a bit weighty to get home with them. So, are you gonna get what? The cushion? She wants. So this whole this whole section here, she just wants to grab that. Just saying, like it's only like just turned August, kinda, and they love the Halloween stuff, don't they? Oh, look at the stitch one. That's nice. Do you know, it's like, can I go walking at home? Definitely, yeah. Ooh. Saying Kimberly loves the ears, the jumper, and the lounge fly to like go as a little set. So, we might be coming back for that. Okay, so that is our evening done. done. We've done a bit of shopping. It was um, very much like Disney Springs in there. Absolutely mental. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, it's been. It was really. It's just been nice to be back oh, in the is. Disney bubble. It's like so, so we're good. we both said we're just happier as soon as we're in the Disney Definitely. bubble. Definitely. So we are going to end today's vlog here. We are. It has been um, an extremely busy day. Yeah, I feel like it could be potentially quite a long vlog because I mean, we've done so much. Over four hours of driving. <laughs> 
few, what was he, he stopped off at seven, um, Seven Magic Mountains. Seven Magic Mountains. Yeah. Mountains Calico, Calico goes down. It's Suze. just been a busy, busy yeah, day. And, now we're and you here. think we've been four hours off of driving and we've still done like 11,000 steps. <laughs> so, not How too do bad. we do it? So, yeah, we will end the vlog there. So, yeah. And we will catch you um, on, well, for us is tomorrow, for you it's next week. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Please, if you like, yeah. comment, subscribe. So, yeah, thank you. See you in the next one. <laughs>